I told them you were a man who loves the game. And I told them you were a man who could teach the kids about more than just winning or losing. I told them you were the Minnesota Miracle Man. And only you could teach them to fly. So be that man. Be that man, Gordon. Edwards! Edwards storms in and uses the window. Edwards a three. You pay to Edwards. Corner three is good. And now a steal. This could be fun. Edwards to the rack. Edwards, oh, what a move to the rack! Anthony Edwards rebounded to own the Denver Nuggets in Game 6, taking control of this second round series with his relentless top of the league perimeter defense to clamp up Jamal Murray, while displaying the leadership and scoring prowess to outplay Nikola Jokic. Making Michael Porter Jr. look silly on this play, watch MJ2 expose MPJ after crossing half and weaving through traffic. The in and out behind combo Ant whips out seems to be flowing into a jump shooting gather, getting Porter jumping and clearing the lane for a seamless two-handed throwdown. Only trailing Kobe Bryant and LeBron James for the most points per game in the first 10 games of a playoff run, Ant-Man will be a problem for Team USA at the Olympics this summer as America tries to secure its throne as the greatest hoops nation on the planet. Before showing you why Anthony Edwards has proved he's a superstar this year, just 9.1% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe, hit thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow at Hoops on Instagram and Twitter for a follow back. As the screener in the empty side left corner, Pop into the arc, sees Edwards jab step on the catch, then fake the momentum cross right with a lefty in and out move and simultaneous moving jab step. With Nikola seemingly out of the equation, Gordon does a good job to pick up, while Jokic desperately recovers, but watch how Anthony's rise up and follow through aren't phased whatsoever by either MV3 or Air Gordon's closeouts. That shooting structure has been a primary weapon for him and has taken a night and day drastic leap since his first couple years in the NBA. The unselfish and confrontational leadership from Anthony Edwards has also shined bright under pressure. His teammates play for him, respect him, and trust him as the number one guy. From telling Towns to stop fouling, to being a vocal leader in the huddle, to respecting the coaching staff the utmost, to leading by example with timely plays, Anthony's taken advantage of the playoff experience he's gained at a very young age. Losing to the Denver Nuggets in five games of the 2023 first round in a series that included him missing a three-pointer at the buzzer to end Minnesota's season, Edwards was granted a direct opportunity at divine retribution. Running into Denver for a second straight year, Ant-Man dropping 70 points on 67% true shooting to open this best of seven drove Minnesota to the unthinkable two consecutive W's in the mile high altitude on the reigning champion's home floor. However, a thousand times more spectacular was how Edwards responded as this team's 1A after last year's title winners clapped back to hand Minnesota their first three game losing streak of the year. When the champs imposed their will, some expected the T-Wolves to just roll over. When you're in these playoff series, for, for me, I'm always looking for the smallest ounce of weakness that I can find. They don't believe anymore. And when you lose belief, they, they're the defending champions you're playing against. When you lose the belief, it's over. And they don't believe they can win anymore, which means this series is over. Edwards would conversely respond by leading a game where his Timberwolves set the NBA record for the biggest win over a defending champion in NBA playoff history in both scoring as well as plus minus. Ant's game high by far plus 43 was the highest in Timberwolves single game playoff history. The term superstar has become overused, but how a number one option digs in with their backs against the wall to find a winning edge both 
individually and collectively, is one of the most important measurements when it comes to deciding whether a player deserves to be called a superstar. All throughout a performance, which includes even after a game, especially in the confines of a seven game series, how a player leads with their production, body language, and communication is what NBA fans, media, and management look for in an NBA superstar. All of those elements, amidst and post-game, were showcased for us in Game 6 at an A-plus caliber grade from Anthony Edwards. They not doubling you on the post. Take your time. Don't rush nothing. Hey. This is what I was talking about the other day. We get a lead and get comfortable. Keep your foot on the game. This guy right here, he led us tonight. Um, this morning we said, Cat, make the right play. Trust everybody, make the right play. And I'm going to tell you tonight, you made the right play. How, what do you think led to just the response that you guys had tonight? Got Mike Conley back. That was it. Three for six from three. 13 points. Just efficient. You know, he always going to make the right play. The main thing today was his ass stayed out of foul trouble like I told him in the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> that was all that was. Yeah, I mean, I cussed him out. I cussed him out every chance I get, bro. Stop fucking fouling. <laughs> I think you guys see it. Like, if Cat don't foul, we pretty much can win the game every time. And tonight, I mean, he had three fouls, but he did. He only had three. He didn't have five. So I told him today, like, be thankful that you didn't foul, because if you don't, if you, if you foul, we lose. Because you're the best matchup we got for Jokic. Like, you do the best job on him. You know what I mean? We come to double, but you do the best job standing up to his first dribble. And um, he did that tonight, man. He only took 10 shots. Um, we counted on him making the right play. This morning, they, we was all on him, like, bro, you got to make the right play. We're going to play off of you in the post tonight. Like, they have no matchup. He did an outstanding job of, of just making that easy pass. And when they don't double, he was aggressive. And, uh, yeah, the cat played great tonight on both sides of the ball. The degree at which the Wolves defended in Game 6 made it so this Minnesota W felt like more than just one amidst a seven-game series, as silly as that sounds. The Wolves changed the personality of this series entirely by investigating law and order style, locking up the Nuggets in handcuffs, putting them in the back of the police car, and sending the mile high to jail for the night. Minneapolis held Denver to the lowest single-game scoring total by a team in the 2024 playoffs, as the return of Mike Conleaf meant everything. The Wolves became the first team of all time to go on two 22-0 runs in the same playoff game. Based off all of that, will the Denver Nuggets bounce back, or will the Minnesota Timberwolves capitalize on their momentum from Game 6 and eliminate the reigning champs, it all goes down on Sunday, so get your takes in down below in the comments section for a chance at next video shoutout. Today's commenter shoutout goes to Waka Waka, who says if anyone talked to Shaq like he did to Joker, he would have lost his mind. Shaq, you don't deserve this MVP. Appreciate that take and every other, your boy DFlo signing off, and I'll see you next video.